peace to everyone. We're going to be going through the Resurrection Age, and this is the story of Easter. And it's so important that we understand and know what Easter is all about. Parents, if you want to read along, I'm going to be putting up the scriptures as I'm going along with each different ache, but I'm not going to spend the time reading them today. You can pause the video, read them with your family, and then come back and as I explain each egg and their significance. The first egg is a blue egg. Let's see what's inside. It's a donkey. A lowly donkey was given to Jesus right before his death and resurrection. And traditionally, when a king would ride upon a donkey, it would be in times of peace. And you know what? Jesus is here to bring you and I and this whole world peace when we turn away from our sins and turn to Jesus. So that's why Jesus rode on this donkey. The next egg is the pink egg. Let's see what's inside the pink egg. Oh, what is this? It's three silver coins. You know, Jesus came on a donkey and he brought peace to this world. But not everybody agreed with him and not everybody liked him. And Judas, one of his disciples, betrayed Jesus by selling him out to the Pharisees for 30 pieces of silver. There's only three coins here, but it represents the 30 pieces of silver Judas betrayed Jesus with. And because of that, Jesus was sent to be crucified. The third egg is the light purple egg. Let's open it up. Whoa! It's a cup. At Jesus' last supper, he came with his disciples and had communion with them. And what he did is he explained that the wine and the bread represented something that he was about to do. He was about to die for the sins of this world. And where the wine represents his blood shed for our sins, his, the bread represents his body broken for us to be healed. So that's what this cup represents. The fourth egg is an orange egg. I wonder what's inside. Huh, they're these praying hands. And before Jesus was betrayed in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed and Jesus went down to this garden and prayed with his disciples because he knew exactly what was gonna happen. He was gonna go through some difficult and hard times really soon. So he got on his knees and he prayed before God. This is a great reminder for us, for us, that we need to ask God for help in times of difficulty, in times of weakness, in times where we need God's strength. The fifth egg is a green egg. I wonder what's inside. Wow, it's a little piece of leather. Now this is where the story gets a little sad. You see, after Jesus was betrayed, he was tried and found guilty by a man named Pontius Pilate. And this man sentenced Jesus, even though he was innocent, to be whipped and beaten for a crime he didn't commit. But he did this so that we could be healed of our sins and we could be healed of all sorts of diseases. But it's still sad that Jesus had to go through it. And this is what the little piece of leather represents. The next egg is a yellow egg. Let's open it up. What you see here is a little ring that represents the crown of thorns. Now, after he was beaten, something else that was really sad that happened to Jesus was they placed a crown of thorns and it was poking into his head and it made him bleed and it was painful for him. But you know what? Even though Jesus was in pain, he still prayed and forgave those who teased him and hurt him. And that is the love of Jesus for you and me and everybody in this whole world. The seventh egg is a yellow egg. Let's open it up to see what's inside. Inside this egg is three large nails. Now three large nails were driven into Jesus' hands and feet to hang him on the cross. Now this was a painful punishment and you know we ask ourselves why did Jesus have to die? Jesus had to die to make a way for us 
to receive forgiveness of our sins. And so it's so important that Jesus came and he suffered so that we could have a new life in Christ. At the end of this video, I'm going to lead you in a prayer if you want to receive Jesus into your heart. And it's very sad that Jesus had to die. But you know what the good news is? Is that this made a way for us to go to heaven and have a right relationship with God. When Jesus was hung and died and rose again, He made a way for us to live. The next egg is a light green egg. Let's open it up. It's a dice on the inside. And after the Roman soldiers put Jesus on the cross, they actually sold his clothes so that he wouldn't have anything, any material possessions. But you know what a really cool thing and loving thing that Jesus did? When he was still on the cross, and he prayed to his father and said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Wow, what a prayer of forgiveness. The ninth egg is a purple egg. I'm really curious, what is in this egg? It's a little spear. You know, at the end of Jesus' time on the cross, he was still living, and he was still breathing, and he was still praying for those soldiers. But it finally came when Jesus needed to die, and the soldiers came and pierced his side, and he died so that we could live. He died so that we could be forgiven of all of our sins. Even though Jesus died, this wasn't the end of the story. Let's look at the next egg, a white egg. Let's see how the story keeps on going. Wow, it is a white little cloth. And the Bible says that after Jesus died, Joseph of Arimathea wrapped the body of Jesus in a living cloth to give Jesus a proper burial. Now, even though there were a lot of people who did not like Jesus, Joseph was one of those people who believed and loved Jesus. And so he took Jesus' body so that he could have the respect and dignity that he deserved. We only have two more eggs left. And the second to last egg is a pink egg. Let's open it up. It is a rock or a stone. You know, after Joseph buried Jesus into a tomb, a large stone was placed in front of the grave so that nobody could steal Jesus' body. And even two guards were posted at the entrance of the tomb so that nobody could even try and move this giant, heavy stone. But you know what happened? Three days after Jesus died, somebody or something moved away the giant stone. And you know who that was? That was the power of God. And when Mary Magdalene found the tomb, the soldiers were sleeping and the stone was rolled away. I wonder what happens next. This light blue egg is the final egg and the ending to our story. Let's see what's inside. I'm so curious. Huh? There's nothing. It's empty. Is there a mistake here? No, there's no mistake. The empty egg represents the empty tomb of Jesus. You see, when Mary Magdalene and the other women f went into the tomb after the large stone was rolled away, an angel appeared and told them that Jesus had risen from the dead. He rose from the grave. That means he's no longer dead. That means he's no longer suffering. But now he is alive and well. And he did all of that just so you can receive him into your heart. You see, he died and suffered on the cross and then rose again so that our sins could be forgiven. The Bible is very clear that if you want forgiveness of your sins, you just need to confess it, believe it, and announce and proclaim that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. And even though our hearts may feel empty when we receive Jesus, Jesus will come into our heart and fill us with his love and his goodness. 
So today, if you want to receive Jesus into your heart, I want you to repeat this simple prayer after me. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. And if you want Jesus, repeat this prayer. Dear Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. Forgive me of everything I've done wrong. I declare you Lord and Savior of my life. Come live in me. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I'm so happy if you prayed that prayer. I'm so happy that you now have Jesus in your heart and you receive salvation from God. Thank you for going on this journey with this story. I'm so happy that you could learn a little bit more about what the true meaning of Easter is. I hope God spoke to your heart and I pray that he will lead and